I know some of you guys were wondering, yo, where's M? Was he held hostage for the past three weeks? He didn't upload any videos. His videos might be too good for YouTube itself, so someone must have taken him hostage, so he was not able to upload any videos. No, it wasn't quite that. I will explain you why I was away by just simply showing you. Yes, I was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 quite a lot the past couple of weeks to complete the Mastery Camo Grind Interstellar. But that's a different topic because today we are here for the 6 star top i3 priority list. Let's go. So there we go with the top i3 priority tier list or list in general. Not really a tier list, to be honest, but a priority list. Uh, for those people too long didn't watch, this is the list on how to prioritize. And if I see someone in the comments saying, Em, why did you rank something like this and that? Then I know you didn't watch the rest of the video. Nonetheless, let's go. I think it's completely fine ranking the priority list in this way. We have the best choices. We have DPS. We have the good alternatives and just plain map. I mean, for let's start off with the DPS. I think for the DPS, there isn't really much to say about that. Let's be honest about that. You have a DPS, you get it to I3, you get the stat boost, you get all the goodies. And that's about it, right? It really doesn't matter if there's like a big change or something, but your DPS overall just improves with upgrading them, right? So that's for that. That's why there isn't really a... That's why I wouldn't rank any of them with lower or higher. Um, because it's just a DPS, so you want to get them to I3 anyways. Um, but where the difference comes in slightly a little bit is with the support units in the game. Uh, let's kick it off with the best choices. Um, we have Annalie. By the way, I didn't rank them anywhere besides like left is the best and right is the not as best. It, is, it isn't ranked at all. It's just um, whatever at this point. But let's look at uh, Annan Lee first. So basically for Annan Lee, you want to use her everywhere in the game, right? And the difference for her is when she gets to I3 is basically that the damage taken reduction effect from her, the buff to so you get less damage for your team is increased, while also the damage you deal to the enemies is also increased. This is why her I3 is good and she's in this list. For the next one, it's Voyager. Voyager's I3 is basically on top what she's doing with the silence because with her after she takes free actions she enters the chorus ensemble and if there are enemies after the, uh, the caster takes action inflicts one round of silence on all enemies and basically at I3 on top of dealing silence she's also dealing one round of seal which seals the ultimate and this is very good so that's why she's ranked high. Then we have Sophie. Sophie is basically at, she needs I3 to be a better healer because we have the meta team coming up with Jessica, Changeling, Sophie, and Beacorn. And you definitely want to have Sophie at I3, so she has, uh, so she provides a better survivability for the team. Then next up we have Pickles. For Pickles, it's clear because at i3 he gets two stacks of his clarified topic immediately so this way he uh, gets to maximum stacks way faster or like after one turn so he can uh, spam his ultimate to provide the support your team needs then next up we have two fairy i was looking into two fairy as well and the basically the thing about two fairy is when you have her i3 so at i1 she starts with three baby teeth and once you have five stacks um which says zero at the start of a round consumes five baby teeth to reduce the enemy's team team's critical resist and critical defense by 15 percent lasts one round and when she's at I3, she gets an additional two baby teeth at the start of battle. So the, basically the battle starts and the enemies already have reduced critical resist and critical defense. So you can already turn one start to deal massive damage. 
that's why she's also ranked highly there and then we have two good alternatives we have uh, miss baba miss baba is ranked there because simply right now in a free team format she is not that great really she is really not that great in a four team format that does change though and with her inside free after she gains 15 stacks of guardian instinct she enters the loyal partner status and the caster no longer gains guarding instinct which basically means is because that stacks over time and then you lose it um, once she reaches loyal partner her reality defense is increased by 25 percent and she's immune to moxie reduction effects which helps out for uh, more drawn out battles in the long term and then also we have one other unit which is Druiz. so when it comes to Druiz, uh right now she is good actually she's very good but you don't need her i3 yet because we don't have changeling yet and the thing with her i3 is basic and her i3 is by the way very strong because when a caster enters battle all plant allies enter circle of life status and circle of life is damage shield plus 10 percent plus leech rate plus 10 percent so whatever damage you receive you gain 10 percent back and whatever damage they deal they gain 10 percent um hp of the damage dealt back so she's kind of a sub healer while having control capabilities of her wind into the woods when you have it at uh, two star you get petrify by the way i'm telling you drew is actually very strong i was able like the very first limbo rotation limbo six with regulus and the apple i cleared limbo six because of Druis, and my Druis was legit level one not inside one two three she was legit level one I think Medicine Pocket or something died in the battle and then Druis come in and then I had Centurion, BK and Druvis and just by having Druvis there to just keep petrifying um, Regulus or Apple, I'm not, not sure about it anymore, but by just keep petrifying them, I was able to clear it and without that I wouldn't have been able to beat it when I did that during that point in time. And she was just level one she didn't even have any upgrades and she was already great support um that's why in the future she will be very good but for the time being she is a good alternative also it really depends on what you have right now and medicine pocket is just a strip of no no because um at i3 uh if the castle hp is below 50 percent healing down plus steps come on well, why is it so conditional they could the thing is they could even remove that part and it'd be like healing done plus 10 percent and it would still be like ah whatever but with that condition it's you know like the only reason you want to i free medicine pocket is because you have every other unit that i free and you have the resources but besides that there's no real reason to i free medicine pocket just keep her at i2 level 50 Maybe later on at patch 1.6, we get very hard content where you basically need your whole team at i3 level 60 to be able to survive. But till then, um, she's at the bottom of the priority list for i3. Um, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here to the channel, feel free to subscribe and like. I basically upload every single day unless I don't feel like to or i'm busy with a camo grinds uh, yeah that's all that but thank, thanks guys for watching see you in the next video deuces